Hello. Today we're going to show you how to use Geek Performer to create the intro used by Pete Townsend for the song Won't Get Fooled Again. So this view is the connection view of Geek Performer where we have a MIDI keyboard, we'll see this in some more video, connected to Blue 3 which is a Hammond organ emulator which whose output is connected to the ARP 2600 audio input whose output is connected to a gain and balance control and finally we go out to our audio interface. So first we're going to just hear the basic sound of that we're going to use of the Hammond organ. Right now the ARP 2600 is just configured to pass the sound directly through. We'll see how that works in a moment. So here is basically the organ. So if I play keys, so I'm just getting this basic sound here. Now, as mentioned in my blog article, what a lot of people do to play this song is they just play 16th notes like this. As you can see, it can get very disjointed. Anyhow, that's the basic sound. So now let's see what's going on. We don't need the organ anymore. Any reasonable organ sound will do here. Now, the interesting thing is what's happening with the ARP 2600. So let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so right now we have, this is the audio input from the outside world, and we're basically taking that input, connecting it, we're overriding the default sound that the ARP 2600 uses here, and so this basically is a volume control for the input into the filter, which we're not doing anything with yet, it's just turned on, and the output of the filter is just going directly to the audio out. So if I hold a chord down and disconnect this, you'll see the sound goes away. And now we put it back. Notice I'm still holding the keys down. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn on the gate. And uh, to save you having to watch a lot of wiring, I've just got another version of this rack, a new rack space uh, with the same connections, but with the ARP, with the gate. Let's have a look at this. So now you can see same audio input going into this same input with a mixer, but now the output of the filter is being connected to the input of a voltage controlled amplifier and we have the ADSR is coming out of the output of that as a, as a control signal is going into the VCA and that's one part. The other key part is notice this connection here. There's a square wave output from an oscillator running at low frequency and it is being connected as a trigger into this envelope generator, this ADSR. What that means is every time uh, this oscillator value hits, uh, hits the top it will trigger this ADSR. The ADSR output will control the volume of the VCA and if I hold the keys down now, you'll see we get the following effect. Now I can play with this. Notice how the, the sound stops abruptly. If I change the release, we can make it sound longer. Also, if I change the attack, We see the beginning of the sound is gone because it, the volume ramps up. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, I mentioned we're using this oscillator with a square wave. If I change the speed of the oscillator, we 
change the speed that the amplifier turns on and off. Okay, that's the second part of the puzzle. The third part is the sweep. And again, save some time, I basically just um, created another rack space. And here is the harp again. Now this time all the connections are the same, except this time we've got a second oscillator with a triangle output, and we're connecting that into the voltage controlled filter a cutoff. So we can now control the rate at which the cutoff frequency changes. Everything else is the same. And again, if I now play this, okay, you can hear the on off, and then we've got this sweep effect. If I again, if I change the speed of the oscillator controlling the sweep, I can make it change faster. We wanted to go quite slowly. And now we can basically play the song by basically just holding these notes and doing something like this. And so on. And that's the basic way that this song was played and you can get the transcription of the notes if you want the exact tune.